Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a food shoppy haul. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below what content you like, and don't forget to subscribe! In this video, I bought a lot of candies, some mochi, some TikTok trending gummy planet candies which was quite interesting and I also bought some potato corner flavoring so if you're interested in seeing that then keep on watching! So the first parcel that arrived was quite a big package. I bought quite a lot of gummy candies and belts and choo choo karate belt I bought in Shopee. I don't know, I just saw it in Shopee and it was like cheap. I think I bought it for around like 40 pesos per pack, yeah. And I bought this paper mint which I remember from grade school I buy it in college days and I just wanted to try it again so yeah I bought it I remember TIG20 yung isa nito pero I got it for like 100 for a big pack so yeah and then this next one is a gummy worm candy called Wesley which is kind of worth it because it only cost like 100 for 20 packs na and like it's a good snack for wala lang, for food eating and like wala. <laughs> the first one I tried was this paper mint candy which looks like this. It was thin and light because duh it's paper and it's minty. Yeah, I got the grape flavor because I like the grape flavor pero meron mga ibang flavors like strawberry and mint. The next one is this Karate Straws which I regret buying because sa Shopee naka-label siya as extremely sour pero like hindi naman siya sour. <laughs> so para scam, scam, luge. And it was like super hard. The straws were like patigas so fast. Though masarap naman yung mga belts especially the cola one so yeah. This next one, parang nakita ko lang to sa Shopee and parang it reminded me of the childhood days, the sinaunang candies, choo-choo. And this one is the like yung langka na may ube candy. And I remember eating this when I was a kid so binili ko lang ulit and I bought two packs. Yeah, kala ko di na siya nag exist So nagulat ako nung nakita ko siya sa Shopee so I just grabbed the opportunity and bought one. So this was the actual candy itself. It was kind of hard. Parang di ko inexpect na ganto yung lasa niya. Parang di naman ganto dante. Pero parang sobrang old lang yung taste at saka it was kind of crumbly. I was expecting na soft candy siya and parang like parang yema ish. Pero no, it's hard. So yeah. Pero okay lang naman. It's still edible naman if wala kang makain and gusto mo lang ng something sweet. So yeah. This next package naman is something that I was really excited. No, it's not Samyang. Yun lang yung cardboard. But this was the mochi milky flavored mochi boba choo choo. And like, mura lang siya. I got it for around mga 100 per pack, I think, or 150. Di ako sure, pero I'll link in the description box below all the shops where I bought this from. So, ito yung design ng packaging. Ito yung nutrition, choo-choo, ito yung cover. Yeah, it's the size of my hand. And meron siyang individual pouches which is cute kasi bloated siya. And pag bukas mo ng wrapper, sobrang bango niya as in parang nasa Serenity store ka. And sobrang sarap niya at first. But I feel like if inulit ulit mo siya, mauumay ka. And I recommend siguro one a day. And yeah, I recommend you buy a pack. And if you are a milk tea lover, siguro bili ka ng marami kasi masarap talaga. So, yeah. I bought two packs lang and shared them with my mom and my sister because di naman ako mahilig sa milk tea masyado. So, yeah. Moving on is a package that I am most excited about because I saw this on TikTok and maraming mga Korean mga mukbangers, candy mukbangers na bumibili nito and they posted sa TikTok how they eat it, parang choo-choo, yeah, nakaka, parang nakakahawa and nakakabudol bumili. So 
I just bought it. And it was like severely overpriced. Like, I don't know if nakita niyo to sa Shopee, like 300 per pack. Like, no way. But I managed to find one uh, 100 per pack. So I just grabbed the opportunity and buy it agad. And this is what it looks like. Very squishy siya. And meron parang serum or like juice siya sa loob. Which is super sour. Parang lollipop na melt. Tapos yung blue naman parang may consistency na like super soft na Merced, Brasso de Mercedes na matamis na sobra. I wouldn't say it was worth it for 25 a piece, but at least I got to try it na and yeah, never again. <laughs> then I bought the Sour Trolley Gecko which was clearly a childhood favorite. So yeah. The next parcel I got was quite big. This is the Samyang, um, Samyang Star Choo Choo and I also got to buy this to yopoki, yopoki, I don't know, uh, in cheese flavor, and I didn't really like the taste. And I bought a lot of flavors. No, actually, yung carbo lang at saka yung light, cause weak shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I also bought this sweet seaweed, M -M -M -M, seaweed. It's different from the seaweed I normally buy, but this seaweed was kind of paper like, at saka maalat siya. So if you want maalat na seaweed, you can buy this Bibigo from this store so i'll link it down below moving forward this is the last thing i bought actually sobrang natagalan to kasi siguro na wrong yung sorting area choo choo so natagalan siya pero this was the potato corner flavoring that i was wanting to have for a long time pero ngayon ko lang nabili uh, this is the barbecue cheese and sour cream flavor and they claim na potato corner flavoring talaga siya which I believed, so I bought it. I am going to test it out and eat it with my hash brown that my mom bought it for me in the grocery. And I am gonna try the sour cream first. So they come in three packs, I think 50 pesos for one pack and 100 grams, siya, which I think is a good price now considering it's potato corner dough. And when I tasted it, parang potato corner lang at talaga siya. Especially the sour cream and the barbecue flavor. Parang nagaya niya talaga yung potato corner. Maybe except for the cheese one, kasi medyo matamis yung cheese, which is not like the potato corner one. So yeah, yun lang. This is Ate Josie. Hello. She's the one who prepared the hash brown. Yay! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Siya lagi ko kasama pag wala yung parents ko and my gimmick yung siblings ko. So, yeah. This one is the cheese flavor which I said na pangat yung lasa. Medyo kasi matamis siya. And sa potato corner parang iba yung texture niya. Like this, parang hindi siya same. So, yeah. Though, okay lang rin naman since my brother likes it. So, siya na lang umuubos ng cheese flavor and Sinasabayan ko yung hash brown with egg right now, which Ate Josie also prepared for me, so yeah. She was my maid for 16 years now, to be honest. She slay! Parang mas masarap kong barbecue. Hindi pa, pangit laso ng cheese. Hindi ka gaya nung, nung fries. Parang naman maalat ko. Mm -hmm. Mas maalat dito sa barbecue. The flavorings was an overall a good buy. I would buy it again, but honestly, yung sour cream and barbecue na lang siguro. Pero right now, after two months of using the barbecue, parang nagamelt siya sa container niya, nagaka moisture and tumitigas yung barbecue. So yeah, that's one sad thing. Pero yung cheese, hindi talaga. No, it's a no for me. So that's where the video ends. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you on the next one.